Torah Life Ministries come out of the world. Messiah people seek the truth. Hello, everybody. This is Paul Neese from Torah Life Ministries. Thank you for joining me. We are reading Proverb 26. We are reading Proverb 26 today, continuing to read the proverb every single day. And before we do anything else, Shabbat Shalom, everybody. Shabbat is here. Hallelujah. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom. My name is Paul Neeson, Torah Life Ministries. And uh, there's six things we need to be doing as believers every single day. That is pray, praise, proclaim, read and repent and submit. That's what we need to be doing on a regular basis. And uh, prayerfully, that's what you are doing and people are doing. And praise Yahweh. Shabbat Shalom. So we are going to be reading... Uh, uh, Proverbs 26 right now, and uh, it says, and remember, this is for leaders or kings primarily. Uh, the first part of the Proverbs were for younger younger um, people, but it could have been applied to everybody. And with this, it's for, uh, for, for kings or, or leaders, but it could be applied to everybody. Honor is more associated with fools than snow with summer or rain with harvest. Okay, like a, 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 a flattering sparrow, like a flirting sparrow or a darting swallow, an un undeserved curse will not land, land on its intended victim. Guide a horse with a whip, a donkey with a bribe, and a fool with a rod to his back. Don't answer the foolish arguments of fools, or you will become as foolish as they are. And there's a saying, if you argue with a fool, you have two fools arguing. Uh, but it says, don't answer the foolish arguments of fools, or you will become as foolish as you are. And one of the uh, the lessons or the things we see all throughout Proverbs is, is, is the tongue. Having control over the tongue and, and keeping the tongue uh, under control. And uh, answering a fool or arguing with foolish arguments uh, and, and discussions, you're just dragged into it and you're a fool just like others. Uh, so it says, be sure to answer the foolish arguments of fools, or they will become wise in their own uh, estimation. So it says, don't answer the foolish arguments in verse 4. But verse 5 says, be sure to answer the foolish arguments of fools, or they will become wise with others. Uh, but the king is, we can, we can answer them and put a stop to it. Don't get in an argument with them or discussion about these foolish things. A trust in a fool uh, to uh, con convey a message is like cutting off one's feet or drinking poison. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is useless as a paralyzed leg. So a fool is, according to scripture, somebody that does not fear Yahweh. Do not get into discussions, arguments with, with people that do not fear Yahweh. Trusting somebody who doesn't fear Yahweh is, 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 is like poison. It's just, just going to go to waste. It's like a leg that doesn't work. Uh, honoring a fool is like foolish, uh, a foolish as tying a stone. To a, to a slingshot. It just doesn't make sense. It doesn't work. It doesn't go together. A proverb in the mouth of a fool is like a thorny branch uh, ba brand, brand, banished by a drunk. An employer who hires a fool uh, or a bystander is like an anchor who shoots at random. You understand a foolishness is what so many people are doing today. And it's pure foolishness, foolishness, foolishness. Uh, it's just, it's just not wise. And and and, and somebody who doesn't fear Yahweh is a fool, and they're going to reap foolish things on themselves. Uh, a dog returns to its vomit, so as a fool repeats his foolishness. As a dog returns to vomit, so a fool repeats his foolishness. We need to fear our Creator, folks, and not the world, and not keep. Uh, associating ourselves with people that do foolish things. They're just like a dumb animal uh, or, or doing dumb things like animals uh, that we can't understand because that's what foolishness is. Uh, anyone who denies Yahweh and doesn't fear our creator is a fool. The lazy person claims there's a lion on the road. Yes, I'm sure there's a lion out there. As the door swings back and forth on its hinges, so is the lazy person who turns over in bed. So laziness, not working hard, is is a is another scriptural thing that 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 it's against in scripture. It says here in verse fifteen, lazy people take food in their hand, 
but they don't even lift their mouth, lift it to their mouth. Lazy people consider themselves smarter than seven wise counselors. Interfering in someone else's argument is as foolish as yanking a dog's ears. Uh, so we just, we just basically a foolish person is not thinking. And, 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 and they're not willing to, well, I won't necessarily, they're not willing to work hard, but they're just not thinking. A foolish person is not thinking. It says, uh, is someone who lies to a friend and then says, I was only joking. Well, well, let's see. Uh, verse 18, just as damaging as a mad, a madman shooting a deadly weapon is someone who lies to a friend and says, I was only joking. Fire goes out without wood, and quarrel, quarrels disappear when gossip stops. A quarrelsome person starts fights, and easy as hot embers light uh, charcoal, of, of, of fire lights wood. Rumors are dainty morsels and sink deep into the heart. Uh, smooth words may handle a wicked heart, just as... Pretty a pretty glaze can voice a clay pot a pot. People may uh, cover their hatred with pleasant words, but they're deceiving you. They pretend to be kind, but don't believe them. Their hearts are full of many evils. Why their hatred may be concealed by trickery, they their wrongdoing will ex expose be exposed in public. So so here we see the whole idea and the concept of this proverb, the wisdom of our creator. Uh, telling the leader who to trust and not to trust. And I think about a story in scripture when I when I think about this whole proverb is uh, when the king, the leader, the king of Israel literally showed all his treasures to his his enemy or to somebody he thought was a friend but was really an enemy and, and, and revealed all the secrets and showed all the treasures. And then, of course, we know they got invaded and, and everything was taken away. And, uh, and it's just some foolish things, foolish. Look, people that are moved by the Rahadak Kodesh, they might miss the mark, but they're not going to live a foolish life. They're seeking to live according to Yahweh's wisdom. And when you lean on his understanding and not your own understanding, that's when things get done. Uh, if you set a trap for others, you will get caught in it yourself. If you roll a, a, a boulder down to others, it will crush you instead. A lying tongue hates its victims. And flattering words cause ruin. So, so we not be conceived. Don't be led astray by by what people are saying or even how people look. A fool is still a fool, no matter how they look or appear. And you're a fool if you listen to a fool. You're a fool if you put confidence in a fool. And it's a very foolish thing to do. We need to 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 lean on our Creator's understanding and wisdom, not our own. And uh, it says in His Bible, our hearts are, are evil, but they're also Oh, foolishness without our creator and the fear of Yahweh along with them and his word to back everything up. Hallelujah. So Shabbat Shalom, everybody that's watching. Uh, every day we're doing the Proverbs live here. Wisdom. Uh, wisdom will get up to 27 tomorrow. Thank you for checking it out. And uh, please share this with us on Facebook and, and YouTube or wherever you can. And as I say often, if your Bible has any dust on it in your house, you should be ashamed of yourself. Your Bible needs to be used on a regular basis, uh, worn out better than looking new, used over and over again, always. So that's what needs to happen, folks. So uh, so use your Bibles, read your word, continue reading your word. Remember, today is the Holy Set Apart Day, it's the Sabbath. Uh, it says in the scriptures, don't do any work. And uh, that's foolishness, according to the word. All right, everybody, have a great day. And uh, thanks for checking us out. Until then, uh, shalom, shalom, and Yahweh bless you. Out of the world, oh my people, seek the truth, avoid the evil, learn Yahweh's ways, Torah life ministries, come out of the world, 